Hey, let's go over how to draw Luma Lee from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Very simple character. We're going to go over it on Procreate. Uh, you can follow along and you got to learn a lot about the program. Otherwise, you can also follow along on regular piece of paper. So let's go over here and start out with the brush. I'm going to go over here to the brush set, my custom brush set, and I'm going to get a cartoon standard. It's really good for drawing cartoons. Um, but yeah. Let's get started over here. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw a curve in. And I'm gonna draw a little bit more of a curve. You press two uh, fingers to the screen and it's an undo. See, so right here, I can press undo. Curve. Maybe curve a little bit more right there. And we're gonna go over here and complete that curve down. It's kinda, he looks like a little flame. Pulling up. Right here for his little foot. Oops, it's easy. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna curve underneath. One more time. Yeah, I'll do that. Down right here for the other little nub of a foot. Curve. Curve over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave a space right there and I'm actually gonna go upward over here. I'm gonna move this guy over here. If you see this line, I'm gonna move it in more. So I'm gonna actually grab the eraser, erase that, go back to the actual. By the way, don't forget to hit the like button if you like these Procreate drawing lessons. Um, I'm putting them at night only, and in the morning, I'm putting the traditional uh, pencil and paper drawing lessons, okay? All these are easy, all these are step by step, and they're all for beginners, okay? So if you have an iPad, go download Procreate. Uh, it's amazing. I'm gonna go over here, curve up. See how the curve's a little bit closer now. I'm gonna pull up just a bit, and I'm gonna curve downward for one flame, one side of his. Uh, I don't know if it's like a flame or like a water, but I see him as like a blue flame. Curve over here, down, and over here, out, down. Over here on this side, out, down. It easy. Uh, oops, let me try that again. Uh, down. That kind of nubby, nubby arm that he has. <clears throat> so far, so good, right? I'm gonna actually click the select tool over here, which is like in the top left hand corner, and I'm gonna expand it. Like you unpinch it, right? Kind of like when your phone, you pinch, unpinch. Go back here. I'm gonna go right over here. And I'm going to draw his mouth in. So right here is going to be a line curved. Curve over here. Curve over here. Oopsie daisy. Curve over here. Oopsie. One more time. Curve over here. And complete the bottom part of that mouth. Right? He kind of looks like a little bean or something. That little mouth there. <clears throat> Let's go back to the more, uh, pen tool. I'm going to go over to the eye. And I'm gonna draw one of his eyes, and it's gonna look kind of like a like the I don't know like the, the zero over here on the other side, right on. So far, so good. Alrighty. Now we come to this part where it's kind of like okay, you can kind of fix some of the lines, very little mistakes, um, and you can kind of just kind of you know, mess with it. Right here. Erase tool. Kind of thin out that line. These are just mild um, I wouldn't even call them errors because to be honest a lot of people won't see this if you don't do it So it's kind of hard to call them errors per se, but um, That's kind of what they are. You know the little mild errors in like the the line <clears throat> The cool part is with digital you can go back and just kind of erase areas and and put them back in there if you want <clears throat> Okay, let's go over the coloring. So go to the top right hand corner, that's gonna be a dot. And let's go to kind of a pink area. And so over here in the center, so over here around the, the corners of the circle, it's the color, uh, the hue, right? 
And then over here in the center is a couple of things. You can go up for how light you want it, down for how dark you want it, to the right for the saturation, meaning like how much color do you want injected into it. And then right here it takes the color away because more gray, like a, you know, more of a gray pink or whatever. Let's go to the top right hand corner, make it pretty pink, drag it, and then now you got his, his mouth. <clears throat> He's blue, so let's go over here again, find kind of a blue, like a light blue a little bit over here. Drag it over, drop. If you want to lighten him up just a bit, let's just make it like a lighter blue. Let's take this, drag it up a little bit more. And then he's a little bit lighter. <clears throat> it's cool and simple and easy. So let's add a little bit, uh, let's add another layer. And I'm going to go to the N on that layer, that new layer. And then go over here to like, uh, this is percentage, 30%. Go over here back to the dot. Go down to black, and now I can have a kind of shadow. So over here, I'm gonna go over here, and I don't know if it comes out on the screen, hopefully it does, but there's a little bit of a shadow there. Think about the light source coming from above, and it's gonna help immensely. Think about coming, it's coming from above, so you're putting down like a line right here toward the bottom. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> if you want on the other side, put another line, another layer, go to the top. This one, you can kind of leave it. Uh, well, let's go over here like really light, really light blue. And you can throw a line on the edge, like a white line on the light side and that gives it a little I don't even know if you can see it on the screen but it gives it a uh, much more dimension let's go over here and draw a highlight this one I'm gonna do pure white though highlight here highlight here right on and there you go that's Luma Lee from Super Mario Brothers the movie uh, do yourself a favor and pick up the brush set the brush set, I made it custom for drawings like this. It is uh, incredibly, incredibly easy. Go go take a look at that. Um, <clears throat> pick one up. It's on the Gumroad. It's the first link in the description. Also, check out the other cool stuff in the description. I put an ebook there on how to draw something that's chibi, how to draw something that's cute. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Share the video if you liked it. I'm still trying to figure out the camera angle with how to film this, this uh, you know, the iPad. So it's kind of hard. Let me know what you think about it and uh, I'll talk to you next time, okay? See you soon, you're an amazing artist.